For four decades, fans have relished the adventures of Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, and Raphael as they battled to save the world from Shredder, Krang, and other mutated threats. Over the years, various creative teams have brought their own twist to these heroes, yet turtle power remains as strong as ever. The next phase of their comic book journeys kicks off now with the impressive debut of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 1 from IDW Publishing. This new chapter of TMNT begins with individual spotlight issues for each of the brothers. San Quentin State Prison isn't a typical hangout for our favorite pizza-loving turtles, but after the events of the last TMNT era, Raphael now calls this home as he's been incarcerated for a few months. Raphael thinks to himself that someone someday will muster the courage to try to shank him, but believes it won't end well for that inmate. One night, Raphael senses three aggravated assaulters on Tier 2 have just finished their escape tunnel. As the prisoners attempt their escape, Raphael intervenes to stop them. The fight is fierce, but Raphael prevails by knocking them out. Later, we see that Warden Starnes has been informed that three inmates were found unconscious in a drainage tunnel and orders every prisoner to be accounted for. Then we see Raphael in conversation with the Warden, who reminds Raphael that he's in San Quentin to help control the corruption and bloodshed from within. Once Raphael accomplishes this, the Warden says he'll free him. The Warden also wants Raphael to monitor three new prisoners who are known to be very troublesome. Later, Raphael discovers the dead body of a guard who was notorious for smuggling contraband for inmates. He suspects this wasn't a typical inmate stabbing, but something more sinister. Indeed it was. Three ninjas, the new prisoners, confront Raphael. Raphael attempts to get them to reveal their clan affiliation, but they remain silent. The fight begins with Raphael and the ninjas exchanging vicious blows. As Raphael gains the upper hand, he realizes the fight was merely a distraction. He rushes to the warden's office, only to find the warden stabbed to death. Unfortunately for Raphael, the guards arrive just as he realizes he was set up by the ninjas. Raphael, however, manages to escape the arrest attempt, drops into the sewers, and begins his quest to find his brothers. We transition to a scene showing the next district attorney, Carmichael, being arrested the night before his election. But the arrest isn't the main issue. We learn that he will be framed by the devious Hale and the Klan in their attempt to take over New York City, as Hale will become the new district attorney.